So ROR is about giving these horses a life when their racing days are over. So they might finish racing at two or three, you know, at an early age, or might be a lot later on. So there's a lot of life left in these horses uh, to do something else. So it's having a second career, really. They're incredibly adaptable, very versatile, intelligent, and they like to do something else. A bit of dressage, a bit of showing, and some obviously more, much more competitive, but it doesn't really matter. It's about them having a home for life. The stories we get, honestly, it really makes you sort of quite tearful sometimes because they are really giving these people something in their lives. They're intelligent. I think that's the key with these horses. Highly intelligent and they just adapt. They come out of racing. Sometimes I think, oh, well, they're just quite relieved not to be doing racing perhaps and they just get on and do another job and have a, have a nice time. Yeah well Purple Moon is really interesting one because he was very competitive when I first saw Purple Moon but when he first retired he was doing showing to quite a high level he went towards the year show and he was getting older and then Francesca took him back and he's also been used a bit as a therapy horse in the community so he goes out and meets people and actually he's here meeting people today um, and he loves doing that kind of thing. He's a really touchy-feely horse and she loves him as you can tell. You know, he comes to her window and she probably gives him a carrot out the window, you know, and she does a lot of social media around it. But yeah, that's the type of thing we're talking about. You know, he's, he's got a lovely home and she loves him.